Welcome gamers, Hazardor here, and today I'm going to make a pretty controversial video, and that is that I think IGN's reviews are kind of fixed. The reason I'm making this video is because they reviewed Ghost Recon very recently and gave a 7.9 out of 10. That is way too high of a score in my opinion, and every single review I've watched that's not from IGN have given it a less of a review score. Mostly 7s, some even have given it like a 6 or even lower, because the game simply isn't that good. But IGN have given it a pretty high score rating for whatever reason. Now a 7.9 out of 10 for Ghost Recon isn't the worst thing they've done whatsoever. Possibly the worst thing IGN do is they have a massive boner for Call of Duty. Literally every Call of Duty that comes out gets a very good score rating from IGN and I really don't know why. I mean Call of Duty Ghosts, possibly the worst Call of Duty ever made, got an 8.8 .8 out of 10. That is absolutely ridiculous. How on earth is Call of Duty Ghosts an 8.8 .8 out of 10 game? They gave Black Ops 3 a 9. 9.2, I mean are you kidding me? The game was good don't get me wrong but a 9.2 out of 10, that's just not realistic whatsoever. They even gave Advanced Warfare a 9.1 out of 10. I mean they must be getting paid to make these reviews because these games simply are not this good. Call of Duty is dying, it started dying since Call of Duty Ghosts and the games simply aren't 9 plus out of 10 games, it's just not that case whatsoever. And it's not just Call of Duty either, possibly the worst reviewed game IGN have ever made is Evolve. You remember that game? That was an overhyped piece of shit, it had no replay value in it whatsoever, and the microtransactions in it absolutely ruined the game. Yeah, Evolve got a 9 out of 10 from IGN. A 9 out of 10 for Evolve, are you fucking crazy? That game was absolute shit. It was getting 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10s for most people, but why on earth did IGN give it a 9 out of 10? They literally must have been paid to do this review. I simply have no other answer, apart from maybe the person who reviewed the game is a massive fanboy for that particular developer. Another game they reviewed too highly is Battlefront. They gave Battlefront an 8 out of 10. That game died after about a week. It was so overhyped, like Evolve was, and it massively flopped. How on earth was Battlefront an 8 out of 10? You really do have to question these decisions being made by IGN because I simply do not understand how Star Wars Battlefront was an 8 out of 10 game. They also gave Titanfall an 8.9 out of 10. Again, I do not understand where on earth they're getting these numbers from, but was the first Titanfall an 8.9 out of 10 game? No, it just simply wasn't. The first Watch Dogs as well, they gave an 8.4 out of 10. Where's this number coming from? It was so overhyped, it was trying to be GTA, Aiden Pierce was really boring, and the game in general just let everybody down. And these are just a few titles that IGN have reviewed way too highly. And on the flip side as well, some games that are absolutely amazing, they've given review scores that are pretty poor. The most noticeable one, without a doubt, is Doom, the one that came out in 2016, the most recent one. That got a 7.1 out of 10. Are you kidding me? In my personal opinion, Doom was possibly the best game of 2016, and giving it a 7.1 out of 10 is absolutely criminal. They also gave Final Fantasy an 8.2 out of 10. The game is not perfect, there's no doubt about that, but Final Fantasy 15 has got to be a 9 out of 10 game at least. It's just so beautiful to play and it's a must buy game. Resident Evil 7, a game that came out early in 2017, got a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Again, it's not a perfect game, but it really was amazing. Surely that's got to have at least an 8.5 out of 10. Resident Evil 7 really did bring the game back to its roots and it was so enjoyable to play. And if you've not realised, these three games that I've mentioned, Doom, Final Fantasy XV and Resident Evil 7 have all been reviewed lower than Call of Duty Ghosts. Just let that sink into your brain for a second. And the thing that pisses me off possibly the most is that IGN are supposed to be the best reviewers on the internet. These guys are supposed to be professionals. These guys get paid to review games. So surely they should be the best reviewers on the entire internet because there's lots of people working there, they get the games early, they get to play them lots, so they should surely be doing better reviews than this. Of course they are producing producing better reviews than me, but I am one person with a hundred pounds worth of equipment and they should really be doing better for the resources that they have. Now I don't like to dive into conspiracy theories or something like that, but I do kind of feel that publishers and developers sometimes do pay IGN for favourable reviews. Now that is a bold statement to make, but there must be some reason why IGN are reviewing some games so well that aren't even good, and some games that are amazing getting pretty low review scores. There must be some reason, unless the reviewers are like 
like retarded or something like that, I do not understand why these review scores are sometimes all over the place. Now despite what I have said, there's no doubt about it, IGN sometimes makes some really good reviews. I mean most recently they gave Zelda Breath of the Wild a 10 out of 10, no problems with that, the game's absolutely perfect. They gave Horizon Zero Dawn a 9.3 out of 10, again a very realistic review score. And then, at the opposite end of the spectrum, they gave No Man's Sky a 6 out of 10. So a lot of the time, they do make very balanced reviews and very good review scores, but sometimes, some of their review scores are really, really questionable. And it's not just me who thinks that either. IGN reviews sometimes get disliked to hell, especially that evolved 9 out of 10 review. A lot of their videos have been disliked to hell because simply nobody agrees with them. And overall, I don't want to seem like I'm attacking IGN because I really like their channel. I've been subscribed for a while, I watch their reviews almost all the time, but literally, sometimes, their reviews really do make me question why on earth are you giving it such a high review score or such a low review score. Of course, they could just be making mistakes or someone who's reviewing it personally didn't like the game itself, but honestly, stuff like giving Evolve a 9 out of 10, Call of Duty Ghosts an 8.8, .8, giving Doom a 7.1 out of 10, I don't know what on earth possessed them to give those games those review scores. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe for more.